part, this video describes a very basic workflow of XML to InDesign. For example, we go into the BRS folder. Inside this folder, there is two folders. This input and output. In input folder, there are six folders common art, fonts, journal, DTD, MSP, template, and XML. Just we go to the XML folder. Here is the XML file. We copy the XML file and go to the DTD folder and paste inside the XML file in DTD folder. And we copy the XML file name and we go back to the output folder. And we create a new folder and paste the XML copied name. And we go back and go back in the in here is the common art folder and copy all the common art and go back to the output folder and inside that folder we create a new folder called link and inside this link folder we paste all the common art and just go back and in input folder here's the fonts we copy the fonts and go to the in design application package folder fonts and paste all the fonts to activate them in our job and here's the template file in design we just open the indesign template file okay and here's the template file and just go to the extras view extra and clear all the previous materials and we just import the xml file in this InDesign templates. Just import. Check on the show import option. BRS input folder, DTD folder. Here's the file which you previously pasted inside the DTD folder. Just click OK. Click all the check buttons. Click OK inside it. And here is the all XML materials come automatically take their styles in InDesign file so here, here is the mapped dialog box you can see all the XML tags are mapped automatically mapped in InDesign style and here's the contrib style which mapped with the style by in InDesign and, and the other styles is mapped in InDesign So this is the way previously all the styles is mapped with XML tag. So there is no need to do every time when we create a new article. The template which we are using is, is inside all the mapping. So it will take some time. Click the OK button. It'll take some time to come up. It's a little bit of time. When you import the file and we go to the tag dialog box and you change change anything, so it's take a little bit of time because different tags map with different styles yes here it is so you close that window and we take a new file new link box and here are the styles which is this link and savers this template desktop BRS folder output folder and link folder and we just take the same name of that XML file we copy the name from XML file and we paste the name in the new InDesign file where we import all the XML materials for this corresponding issue article 
so there is uh, you can see the file is saved and now the next part is interactive this is mail links with the we active all the links it's automatically link are connected so there is no missing link over here save the issue save that file and you can see the structure of this XML file this is the structure format or you can see all the tags of InDesign and here is the style sheet of InDesign you can see the styles and now we start generating all the material the extra materials the extra enter spaces and other things you can see the structure again it's the better better way to delete some extra materials from structure panel because if you delete it from InDesign maybe some tags maybe delete deleted so it's always better if we modify in XML panel so save it and close you can see the footnote over here styles sometimes we need to put a style from our style palette in, in design because if if the accessible file is not properly tagged so that cannot be possible to automatically mapped so in that condition we need to drag it in InDesign Here's the styles putting style in InDesign file most of the styles are automatically generated from XML file you, which you can see Save that file again. And here is the print preview. This file. So, output. Here is my instant file and link. Thank you.